Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. So today I wanted to go ahead and address a topic that has been very prevalent in the PoE community, specifically our community for the past maybe three months or so. And that is going to be, is Righteous Fire going to be in Path of Exile 2? Now, a lot of people also ask, you know, how is the play style going to be since PoE 2 is going to have a very different form of, you know, how you play through the game, especially in like the early, mid and late game stages. Well, today I want to go ahead and show you guys some some proper footage because in the past we've had, um, you know, individuals basically uh, doing interviews with Jonathan and Rory and a few of the other GG staff members. And some of them, like Captain Lance and a few others, have actually asked about RF, but I don't have those exact clips. So instead here, uh, DM or Darth Microtransaction and Gazzy were doing a podcast uh, yesterday, I believe, where they interviewed Jonathan and DM specifically got a nice little exclusive for Righteous Fire. So we're going to go ahead and listen. And then I'm going to talk to you guys about, you know, after what's going on. So here we go. Uh, on here is you had mentioned Righteous Fire as an example mm -hmm. when we were talking about cosmetics and MTX and you're saying that it's fundamentally getting changed. And mm -hmm. I was hoping to ask for Pox here. Shout out to Pox. Can we get any information related to a Righteous Fire or where that is going? I was kind of wanting to follow up with, with that. So first off, I want to state that there is one thing I want to see here. They we're leaning a little bit into this too much. A little bit of psychology is coming in here. I've watched too much Law and Order and shit. But if you look here, right, right, real fast, if you actually look at his face, you can see that as DM asks Jonathan about Righteous Fire, he starts to form a smile. And this is because I genuinely feel it's going to be reworked in a way the players are going to like. But anyway, let's listen real fast related to a righteous fire or where that is going. I was kind of wanting to follow that up with, smile. with that that uh, you had mentioned in the previous. So it's it's not an early access right now because it's on a class that is not, uh, it's, it's one of the skills for a class that's not going to be an EA. Um, so you get that a little bit later. Now, before, let's talk about that. He said it's not in early access right now and it won't be in it uh, because this, because it's tied to a class. Now, to talk a little bit about what they're talking about, I believe the way they're going through their releasing schedule is they're basically going to show an ascendance or show a base class. So in this, I'm going to assume that it is going to be Templar. And when Templar gets added into the early access, then a bunch of skills with Templar are going to be coming in. Remember that it's not literally tied to the class, meaning you don't have to play a Templar to play Righteous Fire. But I believe this is how they're releasing their, um, their skills kind of in waves, if that sort of makes sense. Um, but uh, it is going to be in. Uh, we have a we have a prototype of it, and you know we've got it working away that we're happy for it to work. Um, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, just not an EA, or at least not an EA at the start. Right when we add the character, it'll, it'll there we come go. In. It's going to be in. Not an EA at the start. Significantly changed, or or it is very yep, it is it is very different. Okay, All but right. it's still fundamentally. You know, it, it, it's still fundamentally a, a, a thing where you're lighting yourself on fire and there's fire damage around you and that kind of stuff, right? It's just that, you know, like the exact mechanics from a stat point of view. Like, sure. if you looked at it on the screen, you'd be like, oh, yeah, that's righteous fire. But if you look at the stats, it's like works quite differently. Cool. There we go. Thank you. I had to ask for Pox. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. So that is pretty much that. I already thumbed up the video. I can't thumb it up more, even though I want to. So now I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys kind of about my plans with EOE 2, uh, specifically in this early access, since obviously we cannot play the full version yet. Now, originally, my, my initial plan was I was going to basically start playing, and we were going to go ahead and jump right on in with the Infernalist. Infernalist, I believe, believe is from the Witch sides. Remember, there's Witch and Sork. They both are in the same spot, but they have different ascendancies. This is actually the Infernalist right here. You can see uh, you, the key thing is because if you look at the globe here, they took one of the ascendancies to basically redo their um, their mana bar into the fire bar. And I thought to myself that, you know, since we haven't seen any footage on RF, maybe it's tied to an ascendancy. We've actually seen that um, classes now have literal skills on their ascendancy that can be augmented with support gems. So a prime example of this would be, um, for example, the chrono, the chrono mage, whatever he's called. Chrono Mage has like a stop time that you can actually put support gems with. I think the Warrior has the Jade form that you can put support gems on, etc. Right? So since that's not going to be in there, I have to actually say I'm a little bit relieved and excited. No, it has nothing to do with me being like burnt out of Righteous Fire, but I'm playing Path of Exile 2 to play Path of Exile 2. And when we discover the gem, when it gets released later, I'll be more than happy to try it out and jump on into it, right? But at the beginning, like, I'm not playing Path of Exile 2 to just find a skill gem and say, all right, guys, that's it, we did it. 
You know, I want to explore this beautiful game that they've created. I want to find my niche in Path of Exile. And you know what? It'll probably be RF again. But at the beginning, I want to be able to feel like I have the opportunity to explore any way I want. And that's, you know, in a sense, I'm, I'm extremely happy it's not here at the initial early access, right? Because this means I get to go through, find some ascendancies I like, find some cool skill combinations, maybe even do, you know, figure out a little bit of stuff, right? And then from there, we're going to go ahead and jump in. And when that gets released, we'll obviously re-roll and try out Righteous Fire. So as for what I'm going to play, man, I have no idea. There's so many things that look cool. Um, I really want to try the like cluster grenades that you've seen from the mercenary. In general, I want to try crossbows. I really want to try anything with a spear, but I'm an Im imagining that's coming with Huntress. And that's not out yet. Um, I really want to see how melee feels. I'm a big fan of melee gameplay, but in PoE, melee gameplay is very different than the way they're doing it in PoE 2. PoE 2 is going to be a bit more action-y, and that's how I prefer my melee combat, right? Um, so I'm very curious. I think the only thing I don't have an interest in are bows, and that's probably about it. Minions seem cool with auto resummoning. A whole bunch of stuff looks really cool. Monk looks awesome, especially the like Cheyula Monk. Um, another really cool thing that I have to bring some attention to, and this could be a double-edged sword, going a little bit off-tangent here on the video, but it's that I'm super excited that your Ascendancy brings so much more identity to your class now, because if you have a skill on your Ascendancy, you can augment it with support gems, thus creating an even more unique style, rather than the Ascendancy just being generic stat boosts across the board, right? This is a potentially a bad thing because it will kind of add more class archetypes to PoE rather than the you do whatever you want with whatever you want, but we're it's still relatively fresh, so I'm not looking for any any negatives right now. Also, this boss for some reason that the like arena really reminds me of the uh uh what is the boss name from last epoch? You know who I'm talking about with the monolith corruption? Looks pretty pretty similar, just way updated graphics here. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. So I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Let me know what you guys are starting with down below because, again, I'm still torn on something with cluster grenades, maybe a generic spellcaster, potentially play something melee. There's just so much, and obviously I will get a much better understanding of what I want a few days prior to the launch. But that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Sorry if it's a bit awkward. I'm trying to get used to my new webcam, and it's gigantic, so it's really hard to stare at it like I'm used to. It's just a different feel. So anyway... Hope you guys enjoy yourselves. Let me know what you're playing in the comments down below. But for now, I am out. Take care and thanks for watching, everybody.